How's it going YouTube? Back at it again with some American Base XR D2 or XR10 D2s. We got a pair, you can't really see this one, but we got a pair of D2s. We're going to wire them at half foam on a VFL Comp uh, 2K. Uh, it's replacing the XDs. So the XDs actually sounded really great. No issues, none of that. Um, I just simply upgraded the amplifier and it said the XRs were the recommended pair. So here we are. I wired the half foam because everyone uh, bitches or complains about the VFL Comp 2K doesn't make 2K. So I'm determined to make 2K. You're only going to get there if you wire it to half foam, I guess. So anyway, I'm super excited. I bought that amp from Big Jeff too. I paid $181 for the amp shipped to the door. I paid $2.99. He had a blowout sell on American Base. I guess him and Bob had a falling out. Um, that's between them. I'm not going to discuss that. But long story short, I was able to get two XR10 D2s for $2.99 shipped to my door. So thank you, Big, uh, Big Jeff, BigJeffAudio.com. In case you don't know, there you go, Big Jeff Audio for all your audio needs. Although they're not going to carry American base, you're going to have to figure out your own on that. You can go to g2dynamics.com or you can go to 12voltbeyond.com. Paul has G2 Dynamics and Jordan has 12 Volt Beyond. They're both great guys. They'll both get you taken care of. If you have any issues, buy it from them. If you have any problems needing the warranty, they'll take care of it. So, let's get to it. Today, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but we have the XR D2, XR10 D2. I'm sorry, I keep messing up, guys. It's a 10 inch sub. RMS power is 1,000 watts. Its max power is 2,000 watts. It's got a stitch rubber surround, fiberglass reinforced cone, which is what I liked about it. It's a dual voice cool, two ohm, three inch aluminum voice cool. So. Uh, aluminum cools, from my understanding, are supposed to have a uh, better SQ as well as the fiberglass cone. It has 200 ounce, uh, I believe it's triple stack magnet, but it might be double. Don't quote me on that. PVC gasket ring, PVC magnet boot. So, those are some of the cool features it has. That's what the box looks like. That's what you get. And... I will find a knife. <clears throat> so you have the instruction manual. And then I'm going to do my best to get you your specs on here. So bear with me, guys. Now I do that so... For you guys that can't find specs or anything, you can maybe pause the video and get whatever you need. But here's recommended sealed right there. Enclosure, sorry. This is your recommended ported. This is kind of how big they want you to have stuff, or at least what they recommend. You can do whatever you want, you know. Here's for a 10 D4. And that's it. That's what they give you. Now to the good part. This one, I actually did an unboxing of the uh, King and I was kind of disappointed in how it came, chip wise. 
as far as packaging goes like to me in my opinion this is way better package it actually got left out in the rain even though it says right here on the box use no hook and keep dry thanks ups for leaving it out in the rain although it didn't hurt nothing but still it was annoying you know you buy speakers and they leave it out in the rain you're like come on man like that was your shit you wouldn't appreciate it anyhow this is what you get we are going to be weighing in today so there will be that let's get them out of the plastic And I mean, I know y'all might watch these videos or whatever, but these videos absolutely do no justice as to seeing these subs in person. These subs are nothing short of your your big boys like uh, Sundown, for instance, or DC. You know, I'm not saying those guys ain't top quality, but I mean, we're talking about China-made subs here, man. And these things, I mean this damn they really are super nice just gorgeous looking subs like i said they're they're just really cool in my opinion for price and what you pay and like i said we got xds now we're going to xr so Anyway, let's do the weigh-in. Now, this cardboard is just simply to keep from scratching the sub but right there I don't know if that shows up or not but it's 28.3 pounds so this is the 10 weighing in at 28.3 pounds which is not bad at all anyhow that's what we got we are going to do a close-up on the voice cool and stuff let me grab you. I gotta fold you up real quick. Anyhow, that's what we got. The logo. And I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Really good looking subs. There's your landings, your spiders, whatever you want to call it. Everyone bitches about the uh, tinsel leads, but in my opinion, they're just fine for what this thing's rated for. It's a sound quality sub. It's not an SPL sub, so it's not meant to be out here just beating the shit out of it, max excursion, yada yada. It's meant to produce lots of bass with clean, clear quality. So just keep that in mind. I mean, these tinsel leads are great for that. You have the cool, it looks, I mean, in my opinion, beautiful. Nice. Real good job. But yeah, let's flip it over. One time, you got your drilled holes or for your venting, and then you have your little screen on the bottom so nothing really gets in there. I mean, it's a mirror. So pretty. Anyway, super excited. Like I said, we will be going from XDs to XRs. And I think the misses will be very happy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like it, give a like, uh, share it if you will, especially that King video. I meant to say that if you guys like that video on the American Base King, share that. Because none of this stuff sponsored. I pay for all this. So, I mean, this is all my hard-earned dollars turning wrenches for a shop. You know, I'm just a 
good old mechanic I'm trying to do my best out here basing it up but anyway thanks for watching guys